Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So dalam video ini Saya akan uh, terangkan uh, Chapter 6.10 uh, Effect of heat on salt eh. Okay So uh, Okay so the our objective is to Describe uh, briefly Chemical test to identify The case The second investigate the effect Of heat on salt through Experiment Okay, so uh, the first thing is you must know how to construct the apparatus. Okay, so you have to know how to draw a diagram correctly. Okay, uh, so the type of salt that we test on heat is carbonate salt and nitrate salt. Okay, carbonate salt and nitrate salt. Uh, so if we test uh, carbonate salt. Okay, we have to construct as this uh, as a diagram one, and if we test uh, uh, nitrate salt on heat, we have to construct as this diagram. But there are a uh, correction here. Okay, salt is uh, the salt that we test with a heat is in crystal form. Okay, always in crystal form. So uh, you have to. Uh, to some correction okay this is a uh, crystal okay l nitrate okay then we test with burning wooden splinter uh, burning wooden splinter okay actually we test with glowing eh? uh, glowing glowing wooden splinter why glowing wooden splinter because we want to test it with we want to test the presence of oxygen gas uh, this is uh, bending eh? bending we want to test hydrogen ok uh, so uh, for nitrate salt ok why you test with uh, glowing wooden splinter because all nitrate salt when it is exposed to heat it will release oxygen gas Okay, please remember that it always releases oxygen gas. Okay, for the carbonate salt, okay, we have to flow the gas produced, okay, using the delivery tube, okay, into the lime water. Okay, so lime water is used to uh, to detect the presence of carbon dioxide gas. Okay, so if we we heat the carbonate salt. Okay, you can see that the carbonate formula here it will produce carbon dioxide. Okay, uh, so to test carbon dioxide, we, uh, the gas must flow uh, into the delivery tube to the lime water, and the lime water will become cloudy. Okay, the lime water will become cloudy. Okay, so this is the setup of process. Okay, this this one is carbonate salt, and then another one is nitrate salt okay okay now uh, so to test the salt you must remember each cation is uh, present in the salt okay so the possible cation that are uh, present in the salt okay, in our syllabus is uh, kalau kawin uh, mesti ada zakat fitra supaya perjalanan hidup cukup aman uh, ok so all of this cation or the possible cation presence is in the in the in the salt ok uh, not include hydrogen because hydrogen will form acid ok uh, not include hydrogen ok so we start with the potassium and sodium Okay, start with the so potassium and sodium. Okay, potassium and sodium. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so, what happened to the uh, sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate when it is exposed to the heat? They, they are not decomposed by heat, meaning that potassium carbonate and uh, sodium carbonate will be exposed to the heat. There is no chemical reaction, no changes. Okay, but 
for the nitrate so okay that has a potassium uh, nitrate or sodium sodium nitrate it will release or it will produce metal nitrite and oxygen gas and oxygen gas remember that okay all nitrate salt if exposed to the heat will produce oxygen gas that's why we test it by using glowing wooden splinter okay uh, so example of metal nitrite is sodium nitrite or potassium nitrite okay uh, so if we use a uh, potassium up to the formula we produce potassium nitrite okay Okay, the product is potassium nitrate in oxygen. In oxygen, we test it with a uh, glowing wooden splinter. Okay, it is important to test the gas produced to make sure the salt is uh, really nitrate salt. Okay, uh, okay, right. Okay, so this is sodium and potassium. Now we proceed to the uh, potassium potassium until copper okay uh, on my second slide and the next slide is deposit from calcium to the copper okay now okay okay calcium until copper uh, so we have to memorize all the cation okay uh, <coughs> all right so from uh, any cation any cation Okay, from calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, stannum, uh, tin, uh, copper, lead, and copper. Uh, okay, uh, lead and copper. Eh? Okay, when it is exposed to the heat, okay, for carbonate salt. For carbonate salt, the product is metal oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, it just produces two product only, which is uh, metal oxide and carbon dioxide simple as that but for nitrate salt they have cation from calcium until from calcium until copper the product is metal oxide oxygen and nitrogen dioxide okay now for nitrate salt it will produce three product okay metal oxide oxygen gas and nitrogen dioxide okay so there are one in, uh, information here okay nitrogen dioxide is a uh, acidic gas acidic gas and have a brown color okay brown color uh, so uh, to test the position of nitrogen dioxide we can use them okay them Okay, blue litmus paper. Okay, and then blue litmus paper will turn to red. Okay, uh, this is how to test a present, a present of nitrogen dioxide. Okay, why then? Because this is gas. Okay, okay. we have to uh, moist the litmus paper to let it uh, absorb the uh, nitrogen dioxide gas. Okay. Uh, for oxygen, as usual, we test it by using uh, glowing. Eh? Okay, glowing wooden splinter. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one more thing is you must remember all the color of metal oxide produced color. You must remember the color of metal oxide. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I will add uh, some information here. What are the color of metal oxide that you must remember? Okay, first, okay, all copper oxide has a black color. Okay, copper oxide. Copper oxide is solid. Okay, this one is solid. And then, uh, all uh, zinc oxide have color uh, yellow when hot white when cold uh, okay so after heating okay of course zinc oxide it is uh, in hot condition 
so it will uh, present in yellow color but after it cool at room temperature the color will turn to white white powder okay and then uh, the second one is light oxide so the color of the oxide is brown when hot okay but it will turn to yellow yellow when cool okay and the rest the rest of salt has a white color the rest of salt has a uh, white color okay uh, all right so this is uh, the color that we have to know okay, that we have to remember okay because from the color of metal oxide we can predict what type of cation present in the salt okay okay now on the next uh, on the next okay heating okay num uh, number three is okay below the copper okay eh, below the copper which is aurum uh, silver and aurum eh? uh, bawah ni ada aurum aurum is gold okay this stage number one stage number two stage number three so for the stage number three okay for the carbonate salt for the carbonate salt okay the product is metal and carbon dioxide okay uh, okay either silver or gold when it is exposed to uh, silver carbonate or gold uh, carbonate okay uh, it will produce metal and carbon dioxide okay and for the nitrate salt when it is exposed to the heat okay it will produce metal oxygen gas and nitrogen gas okay what is the difference between the second uh, stage okay stick second stage okay the, the difference is at the metal oxide now the metal oxide are become metal and the rest of product is same as a stage number two okay uh, from calcium to the copper eh? uh, okay so what is the color okay so usually silver silver okay don't see silver color silver has a shiny gray uh, shiny gray uh, shiny gray okay. gold is cool lah, right, uh, right? Uh, all right uh, so uh, the next one is okay ammonium okay so what happened to the ammonium carbonate and I like uh, ammonium nitrate when it is exposed to the heat okay ammonium eh? okay. ammonium okay so ammonium okay for carbonate okay uh, it will produce water vapor ammonia gas and carbon dioxide gas okay it will produce water vapor which is uh, ammonia gas in H3 this one is in H4 carbonate okay okay after heating it will produce ammonia gas water vapor which is H2O and CO2 okay and you have to balance the chemical equation eh? you have to balance the chemical equation so this one is 2 nitrogen 4 8 eh? Tiga enam tujuh lapan, okay satu, okay balance already, eh? okay what happen to the ammonium nitrate, okay ammonium nitrate, ammonium nitrate in H four and O three, eh? and O three, ammonium nitrate and when exposed to the heat, it will produce okay water vapor and nitrous oxide okay so nitrous oxide plus h2o okay uh, and balance the equation uh, okay h4 okay this one okay two three okay balance already eh? all right uh, so okay this is what happened when ammonium carbonate and ammonium nitrate is post to the heat uh, okay all right so that's all for the effect of salt on heat now we look at the uh, some exercise okay some exercise 
okay so you must know uh, the product okay how to write the balance equation okay so okay for for the first uh, exercise zinc okay zinc carbonate so zinc carbonate will produce zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas and balance the equation okay okay already balanced okay copper carbonate we produce copper oxide and carbon dioxide gas okay already balanced okay magnesium carbonate will produce magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide gas and the equation also balance okay next lead oxide okay number d eh? okay d lead carbonate when heat it will produce lead oxide and carbon dioxide gas okay Okay, next exercise okay for the uh, nitrate salt eh? okay copper to nitrate when heating when heated okay it will produce copper oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas okay so balance the equation and two okay okay three six eh? okay dua tiga empat lima enam tujuh so this is one over two uh, for potassium nitrate it will produce potassium nitrate and oxygen gas okay uh, so nitrogen okay this one one over two for the lead nitrate will produce lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen gas okay so it will produce okay this one okay and one over two Okay, zinc nitrate will produce zinc oxide plus 2 nitrogen dioxide plus 1 over 2 half oxygen gas okay and the most important thing is you must know the color of the product okay for the copper oxide the color produced is black okay uh, potassium nitrate just a uh, white powder okay lead oxide uh, yellow when hot okay white when cold eh sorry eh okay this one is for zinc uh, zinc this one is for zinc eh okay brown when hot yellow when cold for zinc okay yellow when hot white and cool okay all right uh, so how to test nitrogen dioxide I use them uh, blue newspaper so it will turn to uh, blue so it will turn to red and oxygen gas we, we can uh, test the position of oxygen gas by using a uh, glowing water sprinkler okay class so that's all for the effect of heat on salt okay thank you